Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and the topic for the today's video is Sys module. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's get jump straight into the topic. Okay, so Sys module. So before I start explaining the different attributes and methods supported by this module, let me clarify one of the doubt which many people have about this module. Sys module has nothing to do with your operating system. So generally what people think Sys has or the Sys refers to the system, which refers to the functionality which is provided by the operating system. But Sys has nothing to do with your operating system. It basically provides you the functions and variables which is used to manipulate the different part of your Python runtime environment. So Sys has to do with your Python runtime environment. Let me repeat, it has nothing to do with your operating system. Okay, and this is one of the common myth. Because people think Sys has something to do with the operating system. But on the other hand, it is used to manipulate your Python runtime, invo runtime environment. Okay, so let's see some of the functionality provided by the Sys module. So let me go to the Python prompt and import sys okay and let me run this dir to get various methods and attributes supported by sys and you as you can see sys support plenty of options okay so let's explore a few of them so for example the first one is sys.version so as you can see like i said it is used to manipulate your Python runtime environment. So here the version it is giving is the version of your Python, which is installed in this system. Nothing to do with the operating system. Okay. Similarly, if I run sys.platform, it's Linux, which means it is running the Linux version of the Python. So when you downloaded this, this is like, this is running on the Linux based operating system. Okay. Similarly, you have some option called sys.path. Okay. So these, these various paths. So in case of Linux, we have this eco dollar path, right? So these are the locations where the system look for any binary, right? So if you have any binary file, you used to place those binary file in these path and system looks for these path to execute those binary. Similarly, in case of Python, these are the path. So if you need to place your Python binary, you need to place it in any of these path. Okay. Then the next one is sys.modules. Okay. So these are the modules that Python is importing. So when Python is uh, executing or when Python is loading, it's import all these modules to run your Python script. Okay. So, so far we have seen something called like sys version, which gives us a version of the uh, Python, which is installed, uh, the compatible uh, operating system the path where it is going to search for the Python binaries and the modules like the modules which it is going to load while running your Python code. Okay. Let me show you one of the most used feature of the sys, the two most used feature, sys.exit. Okay. It exit the code, uh, your uh, exited me from the Python terminal. So this is really useful. So what this means that when I, when your code encountered this sys.exit, Python will going to stop running your Python script. Okay. And your script is going to execute and it will return a code of zero if it execute, if exited successfully. Okay. There are other codes, but let's focus on zero. So in which case you need this. So let me write a small script. So for example, import 
os and import sys okay i am checking if os dot path exists and i am giving any of the random path so what i am saying if this path does not exist right then simply exit out from the code i mean there is no point of running the script if this path itself does not exist right so this is one of the use case where you are going to use the sys.exit to come out of your python code the moment python your python code is going to encounter this sys.exit it will exit out from your script okay let me show you the second most use case of this sys which is sys.rb okay so let me run one more script let me comment out this code or actually i don't need this code okay print hello world okay let me run this and printed the hello world right let me pass some argument to the script the command line argument let's say i pass 1 2 3 if you can see here does passing the command line argument impact my script so the answer is no right so this is the main function of the sys.rb so before i am going to explain it to you let me import sys as a module right and then after the hello world let me write print sys.rb right and let me re execute this one more time this time you will see that index 0 you know in most of the programming language the indexing start from 0 the first one is the script itself right index 0 is your script name and remainings are all like this index 1 index 2 index 3 is all the command line argument i am passing to this script okay so what i mean if here i just use 0 so it's going to return the script itself but if i do 1 1 close this it's going to return 1 just to make it more clear let me make it this one as 100 200 300 so the first argument which is returned is 100 okay so now you will question like where we can use the the sys.rb basically when you are writing your command line driven script where you want user to input so for example when the script execute it has to pass some argument to my script so let's say i have a script where it is going to list out the files in a given directory so there i can pass the sys.rb where a user can input uh, a directory for it so for example if i have a script ls hyphen l and user can input a directory for example he can input mnt okay or he can input etc so there i can use this as a command line argument like sys.rb.1 or whatever the parameter i need to pass and user can input that to the, to my command line script okay and other thing i can use so for example i will say if length of sys.rb is not equal to 3 that means my script including the script name required three command line argument so script name and two more command line argument then i will write this this script needs at least three command line arguments 
and if you are not supplying that then there is no power uh, there is uh, no way to execute the script further okay so let me execute the script so if i'm going to supply so this is first this is second this is three this is four so i'm supplying four command line argument to the script remember that first one your script name also counts so if length of sys dot arg v okay i think it should be like this sorry about that so this will return this script need at least three command line argument now let me supply three so because we haven't provide any print function something that so it executed successfully okay if we do not supply the three then this script is going to print out this script need at least three command line argument and then this sys.exit will execute okay so sys is a very important module uh, i will ask you guys to try it and if you have any question please uh, mention that in the comment section i will get back to you so thanks for watching this video thank you